The quick ratio or asset test ratio is calculated by taking current assets, deducting inventory, and dividing that by current liabilities. The quick ratio, thus, is the same as the current ratio, except that it excludes inventory and thus is a more conservative measure of liquidity. This ratio is more cautious as it recognizes that inventory in many cases can't be readily converted into cash. Because this metric is more conservative, it's okay to have a lower ratio. A generic rule of thumb would be 1 to 1. Because inventory is already excluded, there's not a buffer required as much as there is with the current ratio. This ratio, in rule of thumb, however, is justified and, depending on the industry and the state of the company, it may actually require a higher ratio. It's best practice to calculate both the current ratio and the quick ratio and then compare the two. This will shine a light on how much of the current asset's value is in inventory. So, depending on how quickly the company can turn over its inventory, an analyst may determine that it's fine to have a lot of current assets tied up in inventory and that they're liquid and would receive a high level of payment for them. Or an analyst may determine that it's too risky and then the quick ratio becomes more appropriate.